Hi there. Good morning. I am. Uh, I'm ready. <laughs> Even though I am. Um, <clears throat> uh, it. And then a little bit of a rush this morning. But anyways, we're here. It's 11. And uh, welcome. Thank you all for joining us. Thank you, all those that are joining me live, and as well as those joining me in the archive. And I'm just going to take one moment to take a drink. Yum, that coffee's so good. Hey, Aaron, good morning. And I was just going to mention that... It doesn't tell me who is live until um, they make a comment or have a reaction. So thank you for always uh, commenting and letting me know that you're there. Because I finally realized that that's the trick. Um, it will tell me how many people in my little screen at the top, uh, how many people are joining. But it only shows by name if you make a comment or um, do a little reaction. So thank you for that. And uh, I hope you're having a great morning so far. We are just getting started here on the JRV Morning Show. I want to just update my Facebook page so I can make sure I can watch the show with us, just to make sure that um, everything's working on the technology side of things. Okay, and there we are. <laughs> How fun. Okay, so I have an announcement. Um, I just was able to finalize my payment for First Friday uh, this morning, and so I'm going to be in space 102, and that is fun in front of Tasty's Bakery, uh, and as we get closer to that time, I'll include a picture uh, in my Facebook page um, in case you are located in or around Bakersfield and want to come join in the festivities. It's a once a month uh, event that's put on by the Kern Arts Council. And they are, um, <clears throat> it's called um, the Art Walk. Uh, it's in downtown Bakersfield. And it's uh, the first Friday of every month. So uh, this coming Friday, uh, I will be there. Uh, and let's see. Yes, so I will be there. <laughs> and if you are close by and would love something uh, fun to, to do on a Friday evening um, with your friends, family, or uh, partner, it's a great opportunity to see a lot of um, local people that are selling their uh, their creations. There's lots of crafts, as well as um, uh, candles and soaps, and uh, just like I have aromatherapy blends, as well as, well as jewelry um, and uh, paintings and all that good stuff. So there's a wide variety. It's lots of fun. I would love to see you if you're um, anywhere near Bakersfield and can join. It'd be an awesome opportunity to come by and sample my blends in person. Uh, so I will be uh, looking for you as well as uh, looking to connect with new uh, people out there uh, this Friday. Okay, uh, enough about first Friday. Let's see. <laughs> All right, well, let's pull the card of the day. And... Uh, Aaron, it's glad to hear that it's going good for you. Uh, it's going well for me, too. I, um, I'm good this morning. <laughs> I'm running, it took me a little while to get going, but I'm running pretty good now. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I think this cloudy overcast weather we're having, and it's actually finally cold now, um, or at least <laughs> cold, bigger so cold, <laughs> or getting there anyways, um, that, what am I trying to say? Oh yeah, I just wanted to stay in bed. <laughs> so that's all. Okay, let's see <laughs> what card wants to come out. Let's find it out this time. Oh. <laughs> Wisdom guide, all right. So let's see what wants to come through for Wisdom Guide. Okay. And I like this card. It's one of my favorites because uh, I love wisdom. I love knowledge. I feel like knowledge is power. And it allows us to um, make the best choices that we can make in any given moment. When we have all the information, when we have the knowledge and awareness, 
and the conscious understanding. Um, it really allows us to have um, em make empowered choices for ourselves when we have that information. So wisdom guide, I feel like is showing because uh, this is a time where um, we continue along. I feel like the Mm -hmm. the flow that we were in with some of the other cards that have already shown up uh, in the detoxing and the um, letting go of the layers of the onion, releasing baggage, releasing belief systems that no longer apply or work for you or um, adding to uh, belief systems that you already have in place. So that way you're um, adding all the information that's available in this current moment. And so the wisdom guide is here to really assist in that integration process collectively. Uh, there's quite a bit going on um, right now <clears throat> uh, with the presidential um, election process that's still ongoing. There's uh, talks of um, recounts and, um, you know, there, there, there's just the, the, the energy balls keep continually keep getting passed back and forth um, between the... Uh, the warring parties uh the, the 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 duality is continuing to play out as the duality will continue to play out because that's how the system is set up <laughs> so uh so the wisdom card i feel like is showing up because there's more information coming to the surface there's more information available if you'd like to go deeper it's that whole uh bible adage as the uh, knock and you shall receive and um and you know you want that information you want those answers you have to knock you have to ask for it you have to show the universe and and beyond just like knocking i mean you have to really sometimes pound on that door if you really want to know because the universe really wants to know if you really want to know because some of the some of the wisdom and the truths that are out there um can totally shatter your reality and then you have to be able to uh be okay and know that that's all right uh, that not, that even though um, a reality can be shattered that doesn't mean that you're shattered um, it just means that you're breaking through into another um, realm or aspect of your understanding and so um, anyhow the wisdom guide is here to assist us in that process as more and more people are beginning to become consciously aware of themselves and becoming more aware of what's going on around them uh, one big thing going on right now and we'll continue talking about it because it's so uh, it, it's such a big deal, and I feel like there's so many lessons in it, is the a Dakota pipeline. And um, I feel like there's a lot of people fixated on, um, on that one pipeline and that one situation, and, and the Native Americans are definitely highlighting um, that situation. And so I don't want to take away from that. But, but I feel like they're also highlighting the sense that there's pipelines out other places. There's oil and coal and, and other dirty um, kind of uh, industrial processes that are going, under, going on underway on our planet. And because that's happening, it makes it easy for spills to happen, which then can destroy ecosystems. It can destroy water supplies. So um, this particular one place is like, is like an amplification showing uh, if you're if you're really looking at what's really going on in other places and what we have to wake up to in as as far as collectively uh, as the collective humanity from that from that place um, because like nuclear power plants um, some of them are outdated some of them are in disrepair and it's like those are things that we don't want to be in disrepair those are things that we don't want to have problems because meltdowns are not good. You know, we saw what happened in Chernobyl. We see how that you still can't live in that place. You can't go anywhere near it. The Fukushima uh, in Japan, you can't get anywhere near it. And there's an out of control leak going on there. Uh, there's an out of, out of control meltdown that they have no idea how to stop. So uh, the Native Americans and other people that are joining in with the Native Americans that also are seeing what's going on are um, it's a bigger voice helping to share with the rest of humanity. Uh, it's like a collective waking up, uh, like a um, like a ringing of the bell. It's a, um, a, a it's time because all these things are really um, wreaking havoc on the planet. And if we want to stay here uh, ourselves, as well, if we, if we want to have children and and uh, those that come after us to be able to have a planet to be on, these are uh, important things to be. Uh, aware of 
Okay, so wisdom guides here to uh, assist us when we're uh, going through this information to assist in, in our discernment process, making sure that we're um, able to see what's really going on, see the truth behind it, and not get caught up in um, any any let's see what any one part of the story because there's just so much there's just so much um it's never just about one thing okay all right so uh, let, let's let's that's good there so it's 11 11 so let's take this opportunity to uh, connect with our imagination and go deep within i'm gonna have you close your eyes and grow roots from the base of your spine and the bottoms of your feet down into the center of Mother Earth and taking a deep breath together. One more. One thing to be aware of when we do those deep breaths is we want to really uh, Breathe from our stomach and expand our stomach area and take it all the way down and really breathe deeply. All right. I can already feel a peace, a peace and a calm settling over us as we tune in and connect and ground into Mother Earth. Take this opportunity to say hello and uh, take a moment to be thankful for yourself, your life, this unfolding, your part in the grand design, and uh, the life-giving planet that you're uh, residing on, as well as the sun that is emanating its energy. Uh, we wouldn't have life without the sun either. And now, I would like you to become aware of yourself in the Sedona Desert with those familiar red rocks and those amazing formations. Cathedral Rock is coming to mind. You don't have to know exactly what that looks like. Just allow that to show up in your mind's eye however it wants to be. So we're at Cathedral Rock in Sedona, however we want to imagine that at this time, or in a desert location. There's no one around us, it's just us and these beautiful rock formations around us and some desert landscape. And you see a turtle walking up. He's a big giant desert turtle and he's taking his time, but he has a little bit of support. He's he's uh, multidimensional in the sense that he's getting closer and closer to you uh, faster than what it would appear that he could actually walk. And we don't have to know how he does it, but he's a magical turtle and he does it. So the turtle is in front of you and he wants you to sit down on the ground next to him, face to face, turtle to human. <laughs> And there's now an energy transfer happening between the two of you. There is a clearing uh, going on, a detoxing, um, which is the desert is known for and great for because it is so arid and open. It really allows us to clear out our energy field and to feel into the expansiveness of who we are. You might uh, be feeling your gold and silver ball of light uh, expanding and growing um, and becoming aware of that aspect and part of yourself. And continue to be open and be aware of any messages and insights the turtle is um, giving you at this time. And with a deep bow, 
Uh, the turtle turns and walks away. And as the turtle's, turtle's walking away, please thank the turtle for this time and energy exchange and in connection with the beautiful Sedona Desert. It's a very highly energetic place. I want you now to become aware of your physical body, wherever you're located. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes and open your eyes whenever you're ready. So that was a, a fun one. We went and visited uh, the Sedona Desert. <clears throat> I was able to go there one time in person so far with my mom and sister uh, back in July of 2013. Our house burned down in June of 2013, and uh, we had gone through the demolu demolition process because they had to totally gut the ent entire inside of the house. And we just needed a place where we could go and uh, reset and recalibrate and figure out like <laughs> what the heck just happened to us because um, I don't think anyone ever is ready for their house to burn down and all their stuff to be lost. Um, and so it was a great place for us to have that experience and uh, be able to be in, uh, held within uh, some majestic um, uh, rock formations and uh, really held within a very beautiful uh, mother uh, nurturing energy, uh, very mystical. Um, it's like as soon as we drove in, there's this windy road that goes through this um, <clears throat> beautiful uh, mountain scape uh, because you're coming down from Flagstaff going in down into the down down into the Sedona and uh, <clears throat> I'm not totally familiar with that area like all the names and stuff but I know there's a creek running through there and you just know you've entered into a magical wonderland <laughs> it's pretty amazing and uh, I definitely look forward to going back and um, so I like to tune in uh, to different locations um, uh, because they different locations do have different energetics. Like, for example, another one is Mount Shasta. Uh, that's another dynamic energy place. And California, we're lucky we have quite a few, like Yosemite and um, the Sierra Nevadas and uh, the Redwoods and... Um, you know, there's just a lot of different um, uh, highly energetic places here in California, <clears throat> also because of the ocean. Uh, but there's different locations all over the world. Uh, it's not just here. And so it's great um, to um, utilize that. And if we feel led to, to connect to these different parts of the earth, because there's different um, energy exchanges that want to happen and there's different things that want to be activated within us and um, different places on earth hold different energies. So it's a, it's a fun process and as it's a great way to uh, investigate and discover further um, your relationship with yourself within. If you have any uh, questions or you ha would like to go further, um, you can always reach out via private message or via the phone and I would love to answer any of your questions or book any um, private sessions. And hello, good morning, who else, uh, whoever else has joined me. Um, I had just figured out myself that in order for me to know who you are, you have to react in some way or make a comment. Otherwise, I just know that you joined. <laughs> so if you'd like to remain anonymous, uh, that's all good. I just want to wish you a very uh, good good morning and thank you so much for joining me. And right now we're at the part of the show, if anyone would like to call in for a mini reading, the number is 661-800-5875. Again, that's 661 800 Five eight seven five. So we'll uh, hang out here for the next uh, minute or so and see if anybody calls in. If they do, uh, <clears throat> oh hey, how's it going, Thomas? <laughs> it's so great. Uh, it's so great to join you, or it's so great that you joined us. Um, thank you for joining today, and uh, thank you for making a comment so I know that it's you. Uh, uh, so let's see. Anybody want to call in? Anybody? <laughs> Uh, I also want to take this opportunity to thank uh, all those that have joined in, in the archives. Uh, and I would love to hear feedback, um, whether it's in the archives or live, um, with the information that's coming through, or the meditations, um, anything that you'd like to comment on, I'd love to hear. Real quick, uh, right now, still during the holiday season, 
um, and you'll also be able to see this up close and personal too at First Friday, is the good box. And the good box comes with lots of fun goodies. We have our uh, Bundle of Sage, our Palo Santo Wood, our um, Solonite Wand, uh, a Chakra Wand, and then we have Sweetgrass, uh, a braid of Sweetgrass. And so all of which are great um, to use in your um, living space to clear, cleanse, clear, and uplift your energy, uh, which is super awesome. Um, because there's a lot of uh, different chaotic energies going on all around us and it's great to be able to um, uh, clear out our energy field in our living space as well as uplift it um, and because it just feels really good and it allows us to expand our energy even easier um, without any resistance from any chaotic energy that might be not even ours you know from our neighbors or um, blasting through because of wherever we are in our city or uh um, you know there's just there's many people that are all around us that live all around us and we might not ever talk to them or be in contact with them but their energy field is uh, blasting out energy and so it's just good to make sure our energy space is cleansed and cleared because it just um, allows us not to take on anybody else's or be triggered by anybody else's and to get everybody else's out of here <laughs> uh, and if anybody has any questions about that also please uh, comment Okay, so it's 11.22, and uh, I don't have, uh, the phone isn't ringing, I don't have any callers, so I'm going to go ahead and sign off for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, and one thing I wanted to tell you, Erin, um, because you had shared a couple of my posts, you'll be getting five entries in uh, extra uh, for each uh, share that you'd made um, for the drawing, <clears throat> because we have a new drawing going on for until December 18th. It's so for whoever joins me live. Uh, it's for this um, beautiful salt lamp. We're going to be, uh, uh, I'm going to be choosing out of uh, all the people that um, either like my page, join live every day, or uh, you get five ex extra um, entries if you like, or not like, but uh, post any of my posts to your page. If you share any of my posts, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> so anyhow, uh, you uh, got lots of entries, Aaron, uh, and uh, Thomas, you'll also be uh, added into the drawing as well. So thank you for joining me today. Um, so anyhow, this will be, uh, uh, I'll do the drawing on December 18th. It's a Sunday. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for joining me live. Thank you all that have joined me in the archive as well. And I will see you tomorrow at 11 a.m. All right. Surrounding you all with a big hug of love and light.